I'm gonna alert the store. Oh, so hot. Hello. So I started on another sewing project. I started making a dress. I mean, I've, I finished it and I was back at home. My mom drafted me a pattern for the, like, the bodice. I used that pattern, I adjusted it, I like did some inserts and like loads of random stuff and you know, whatever. I made this whole new pattern and I decided to make a white dress, but I really wanted to make it like a little bit different. I had an idea to like draw some like eyes, like funky looking eyes, and I was designing a lot and you know, like I pretty much got it done. I had all the fabric cut out and then I had a dream that should tie-dye the dress. So I tie-dyed my dress because I freaking love tie-dyeing. It's like the best thing ever. I thought about how I want to tie-dye it because you can pretty much, you know, do so many random things. I did a little bit of research. I sketched it out, how I want it to look. decided what colors I want. And I just went in for it. I thought that the color is going to come out more vibrant, but it didn't. And I'm also okay with that, like it still looks sick, but just uh, to let you know. Uh, also, oh my god, I have some sick stuff coming up. Like, are there loads of bandanas? And oh my god. In the video, I realize it's really freaking boring. So I've done some voiceovers, you know, my voice is beautiful and my English is, you know, just smooth and perfect, you know, accent, what accent? Uh, you're welcome. I don't really know what else to say. Tie-dyeing, sewing, and then spinning in it, because it's freaking sick. And this is how you make it. I'm just splashing some paint because uh, I had inspirations and I have uh, tried out some different techniques of tie-dyeing and I just like went for it and uh, you can see I am uh, like in the video here right here I'm wearing the shirt that I was testing out the tie-dye techniques and it looks good I think in my opinion I don't know but look at look at that it's sick it's so trippy it's awesome start sewing on the dress I'm gonna start on the top part of the dress I'm gonna combine all the parts like the bottom of the front which is kind of like a waistline Ta-da! Uh, I'm gonna do the back because it's made out of uh, a couple of parts and I'm just gonna combine everything together and it's gonna look beautiful and um, there's gonna be a lot of zigzagging because I do not have a serger and a serger is a thing that makes your seams look beautiful uh, but I don't have that so zigzag will do and it's gonna look great um, the front I'm sewing just the bottom of uh, the front together because I'll have to do a nice little hem a nice little fold so I need the front to hold at the middle because otherwise my boob is gonna fall out I'm also making these little uh, gathers that I'm going to pull together when I'm going to pin the top part of the front and the bottom part of the front. I'm just doing it now to get it out of the way. And uh, as I said, connecting all the parts together. I'm also doing a lot of ironing and pressing just to make uh, those seams lay flat so I can make them look nice and pointy. I noticed that from previous stuff that I made, if I don't base the front, it kind of like flops and as I said before, we don't want the boob to fall out, so I based it. 
and it stays nice and tight. My zipper is in mail. Um, it's it's been a it's been a while that I've ordered, and it's in somewhere. It's somewhere. I'm waiting for it, so I'll have to do the zipper later. So I'm leaving all of that uh, after, and I've finished pretty much all the dress. I'm just waiting for the zipper now. I pretty much finished the whole video now, and I am still waiting for the zipper. It's a lot of waiting. Okay. top is pretty much done um, I asked my boyfriend to pin the back um, he put in one pin that took him I swear five minutes to do five minutes to put one pin anyways um, my favorite part of making my own dresses is that I can add freaking pockets big big pockets that can fit my big hand I mean they're not big but that can fit my hand and my phone and I don't know like some some chopstick because my lips are always dry freaking pockets love them I love pockets also it's a lot of pinning in this video um, my mom she's like a professional seamstress that's been sewing for years and years and years she tells me that I should baste stuff by hand before actually sewing it but um, I am lazy and I like shortcuts so I just pin stuff and hope I won't need to undo and unrip any of the seams you know so I spoke with my mom actually a couple of days ago about ruffling and gathering and she said you have to make the top the, t the top stitch of the sewing machine really loose uh, and then it gathers much easier and I did it and oh my god it was so easy to gather it because the first time I did it without my mom's advice I gathered the skirt and it freaking broke the thread broke so I had to do it all again but with my mom's advice and then it worked and then it was great and look at it it's beautiful with pockets and stuff I'm hemming the bottom in a very lazy way, like this is the laziest, laziest way because you don't need to measure stuff, you don't need to prepare much stuff, you just fold a little bit and you sew and then you fold it again and you sew again and it's done and it's great and it's sorted.